Hey guys, it's Caleb with the Pave Tool. On this week's tip of the week, we're gonna go over the angle scribes. This one here is just the standard angled scribes. Works great for some of your smaller pavers. So this one here would be used with some of the large format slabs. And some of you guys might be very familiar with applications like this, where you're taking your pavers, you're running them up into an existing area, whether it be asphalt, concrete, pool coping, in a typical application where it might be going up against some of those fixed edges, your angle might not be a 45. And in that application, you would be trying to take dimensions, keep your line straight to figure out where this point is gonna hit this back point here and where it's gonna hit here. So a lot of times, you know, you're taking your tape measure and you're trying to gauge that. We're gonna take that guesswork out of there, make it super simple. With the angle scribes, you can adjust it, so sliding back and forth. And you wanna start this at a fixed position. So it actually has a little tab here on the side that you can put down that will set up against the edge of your block, right? So that way you end up in the same position on your piece that you are marking off of, as well as the piece you are marking. Um, when you do have it laid like this previously, sometimes this little piece here does hit maybe the spacer bar. So you might have to angle it just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna pull that tight. We're gonna pull that tight. Now we're sliding this rod down here and we're gonna adjust the tip of this, right? So it gets to the position that we want it to be in. And now I always kind of leave a little bit of a gap in between this product here and this one. So just as long as you keep that consistent throughout all of them, you'll be good. Now we'll tighten that angle scribes up. We're gonna take this and we're actually gonna set it on our product here, all right? We can actually set this tab out. That's gonna grip that product. Now I'll be able to take this mark, all right? Transition that over to the product. So this is gonna get our length and our angle, all right? Now the product here, right? It's gonna drop right in, right to where we want it. So we could obviously do that same exact thing with our larger angle scribes. So this one here has the extension. And again, showing it on some of this large, larger product, right? So we can set this here. Again, tab down, angle here. Just this knob, slide this back. All right. Again, I leave about a quarter of an inch here. So we a little bit of room. Obviously that's gonna depend on your spacers as well, how much room you can put in there. Okay, we're gonna set this on our product here. Again, making sure that that tab is hitting that same exact spot. All right, you can make that mark. And even application like this, some of the products might be quite a bit larger. You can actually take this as well, because that angle is gonna stay the same. Here, adjust it, and continue that mark. So, obviously, with the angle scribes, it's gonna be much more efficient, it's gonna be much more accurate, and it's just a much better way of doing it. And I uh, hope you guys got a little bit of information and some tips out of this week's tip of the week. And if you guys want to see more content like this, or if you guys have content that you would like to see, make sure to leave a comment below. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and also visit us at pavetool.com. Thanks again for watching.